Hi. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, cops sure are good. If only there is TikToks of them. Boy, do I have the answer for you. <laughs> Today we're gonna be talking about cops and I'm not talking about the TV show, but also really weird that we had that, right? Really weird how long it took for people to be like, hey, maybe we shouldn't. Pro-police propaganda or copaganda is very prevalent in American culture, whether it's true crime stories, action movies, or law and order. Anything that represents the police as some sort of universal source of good operating against some universal source of evil can be considered copaganda. Like, crime doesn't just happen out of nowhere, and the police certainly aren't very good at preventing it. Now, why is copaganda a bad thing? There's a lot of reasons. In lower income communities, black communities, and brown communities in the United States, the police act as a violent occupying force. Overpolicing is a very real and very well documented problem that white people don't have a lot of experience with. Which is exactly why you get so many white police defenders being like, what? Well, the cops are good. The police are, they protect us. When even if you've been mugged, like what the fuck is the cop gonna do? If you ever had to report something stolen from your house, in most cases, the cops are gonna shrug their shoulders at you and say, that fucking sucks. Which is by no means the worst thing that cops do. But my point is even in the most simple situations where they're supposed to be even somewhat helpful, they're not even close to helpful. There are horror stories of people having to report sexual assault where at best they get a, sorry that happened and a pat on the back. And at worst they get belittled and discouraged from pressing further action. I can dedicate the rest of my career on the internet to talking exclusively about how policing in the United States is broken, flawed, and evil. But I don't wanna do that. I have to try to radicalize at least somebody. And I mean, hey, there's nothing more radicalizing than this. Three little birds sat on my window and they told me I don't need to worry. Now I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of cop defenders in my comment section on this one, so I wanna do you guys a favor, the bootlickers out there, and give you the time to just write all the comments you want. Go ahead. Okay, if you left a pro-police comment in my comment section, you legally have to give me money on my patreon.com slash Ethan is online. Sorry, I don't make the laws. The police do. So today we're gonna be looking at several different pro-police hashtags on TikTok to see the kind of propaganda that cops make themselves. I'm sure it's gonna be good. I'm so glad this is the first one I've found because I've wanted to talk for a long time about how no one really mentions how brutal and inhumane it is to use police dogs. Where's PETA's take on police dogs? Why does PETA care so much more about people drinking milk than they do about the well-being of dogs that are being used by the police to chase armed criminals? Not only are police dogs often shot by the people that they're chasing, but they're also shot on accident by the police very frequently. For example, here's an interesting article I found from Utah. Man shot and killed after armed confrontation with police in South Jordan. Police dog also also dies. That's interesting, right? The suspect fled on foot while armed with a handgun and was shot by officers. K9 Maya was also killed. Unfortunately, Maya, a 16 and a half year old Belgian Malinois from the West Jordan Police Department, was killed during the incident. Killed by who, I wonder? You'd think they would say if it was the armed suspect, right? Why wouldn't they? Not only are police dogs killed by the police, but regular pets are killed very frequently by the police. The Department of Justice estimated that at least 10 thousand dogs a year are killed by the police. And that number could be much higher because police departments are required to track shootings that are related to pets. So thank God we give cops all of the money they could ever need. Gotta keep buying bullets. Why does this dude kind of look like Ben Shapiro? So many of these fucking cop TikToks just show cops vibing. And it's like, I I just hate you so much. A cab, but y'all seem pretty cool. Don't say things like that. That's exactly what they want. That's why they post these. He responded with this. Yeah, you're damn right I'm thick. Thick of not being appreciated. Dude, grow up. Shut the fuck up. Why don't you guys ever have this kind of attitude when you pull me over? That's a great question and it points out that this video is a great example of how cops will treat each other differently than they'll treat normal people. When you look at two cops vibing on TikTok, you're like, man, these people are normal human beings. And then they talk to you and you're like, 
Oh, 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 you're a f you're a freak. Half the cops I've ever interacted with talk to me like they're in the fucking military. Yeah, brother, I'm here to tactically ascertain as to your whereabouts. Like, sh what the fuck does that even mean, dude? Speak like a normal person. Well, I've never wanted to be a straw before in my life, so that's a first. Cool. I'm getting pulled over. Hey, do you know why I pulled you over? Excuse there? me, only gay cops are allowed to pull me over. Hang tight. Excuse me, sweetie. You know why I put you over today? <laughs> See, it's funny because he's a gay cop. Do you know what Stonewall was? Cops were there. They weren't exactly on our side. There are a lot of examples of like queer cops on TikTok and it makes me wanna throw up because queer people are extremely marginalized and the criminal justice system is no exception. Cops are already class traders. They're working class and yet they devote their entire careers to defending capital and capital owners. They don't actually defend working class people, they defend our bosses. So if you're a queer cop, you're also kind of like a sexuality trader too, a sex trader, a sex trafficker if you will. Today I went magnet fishing and we ended up having to call the police. This one isn't made by a cop, I just thought it was really funny. This guy goes magnet fishing and he pulls a couple of things out of the water that could be like potential murder weapons. And one of the most cop looking motherfuckers I've ever seen comes to take the weapons away from him. We didn't actually end up filming this part, but the police confiscated the fine and they're going to run the serial number on it and they're gonna see if it's related to anything. Guys, we just had a murder weapon taken away from us. The cop's gonna get back to us to see if it was involved in a real life murder. Please hit the fucking follow button and the like button. Please share this video with all your friends. <laughs> Walking to you vehicle stop like. I'm taking psychic damage from this. This is a very common trend amongst TikTok cops. Tick, tick cops. Is that, do you guys like that one? They just do this walk with the song and the fucking hip shot and it, they all have an absurd amount of likes. And like, I know it's not conclusive, right? But there have been theories that, you know, Americans more so than any other demographic of people have like a weird arousal when it comes to guns and violence. I'm not saying it. But I'm not saying it ain't it. Got some help sending a farewell message to their dad. Joshua Buto is in the Navy and was just deployed on the USS Carl Vinson for a tour that won't bring him home until the summer huh? time, according to his wife, Brittany. Sorry, what? She huh? brought her. Yeah. I found this account called Back the Blue 50 that just posts these weird slideshows of cops just like standing around. Cops really do a lot of standing around, huh? Like, I don't know how anyone can look at this and be like, yeah, dude, the cops actually need more money, actually. Oh, the fucking death squad? No, yeah, we need those. These fucking stormtroopers? Can't take those guys away. Like part of me thinks the first thing that comes to a lot of conservatives minds when we talk about defunding the police is that they won't look as cool. Like they're not gonna have as many fucking gears and gadgets and fucking tactical cool shit all over them. Like they won't look like Batman anymore. And that's what we need our cops to look like. People want to be friends with me until they realize that I'm an insufferable psychopath and also racist. Why is that a deal breaker for people? I also love being like anti-vax and pro-cop. Anti-vaxxers love to be like, oh, you don't need the vaccine. You just got to be skinny and, and healthy. But you're also pro-cop who are the like prime demographic to die of COVID and have been more so than like any other group of people. So like, what's up? Should they get vaccinated or? Let's start. I got your six challenge. If you got the police's back, I want you to do it at this video, share this video. I will always have your back. Question is, whose back will you have? The public and the constitutions. Is it me? Am I the drama? I don't think I'm the drama. Maybe I am. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Yes is the answer to your fucking question. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> well, don't care. I don't care. Yes, you're the villain. Nah. Mm -mm. I just don't feel like the villain. People don't know how much cops actually do and it's sad. Yeah, you think they do fucking murder all the time? Well, they also do regular brutality too. Think a little bit next time. So this is just a quick message for law enforcement. You know, my whole life, I've always backed the blue, backed you guys up. Sorry, this guy has a don't tread on me hat and a don't tread on me flag. 
And he's like, you know what? I used to love the police. <laughs> but not anymore. But after seeing that nine-year-old girl get arrested yesterday, I can no longer back you guys up. Because even though there are a lot more good cops than bad, you are all complicit in the trampling over of the Constitution by allowing your brothers and sisters in blue to find and arrest people not obeying COVID mandates. Yeah, this totally real story of a nine-year-old girl getting arrested for not having a vaccine card. That's where I draw the line. <laughs> I love the idea of like, I only support the police when they do things that I like. And once they stop doing that, now the police are evil. Because even though there are a lot more good cops than bad, you are all complicit in the trampling over of the Constitution. So wait, if the majority, overwhelmingly, of the police force is doing something bad, you would say that every cop, all cops, would be complicit in that system and therefore also bad. It's almost like all cops are bastards in that way. Huh. Thank you, brother. Keep it going. The blue is gone. <laughs> I saw that nine-year-old girl get arrested. I ripped down every pro-cop flag in my house. <laughs> Democrats only want gas topo police to do their bidding for them. <laughs> Fucking gas topo. <laughs> but that doesn't make any sense because you guys are pissing yourselves because the cops aren't doing your bidding. I'm friends with the monsters. 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 I'm you know I had to bring our boy back, my favorite little man. I mean, hey, if you're in the police force, I'm sure you're friends with a lot of monsters. I think we have no choice but to make friends with that monster or we would go crazy. You know what they say? You either make peace with the monster inside you or you become the monster. I'm really glad cops think things like this. <laughs> Officer down, brother. He was banned from TikTok for a week. <laughs> I love this too. Say I pull you over. Ticket or dance with me. It perfectly illustrates how coercive cops can be, even when they don't even recognize it or aren't trying to be. Look at this fucking family. Yeah, dance. Or I'm gonna give you a fucking ticket that might ruin the next three months of your financial future. Like, that's disgusting. Fuck this guy. Like, it's probably fake, but still, like, that's gross. Democrats didn't want anyone to say that there are real police officers that live in the United States. Yeah, dude, the Democrats that control TikTok don't want anyone to see that there are real cops. No, yeah, Democrats love when we see cops for what they really are, and they don't definitely try to cover up police murders like Rahm Emanuel. All police officers are not bad. Do not punish the good ones along with the bad. One day you are going to need them, and they are not going to be there. <laughs> it sounds like a threat. <laughs> if you keep banning police from TikTok, you're gonna need them pretty soon. And they're not gonna be there. Like what, so cops only help people who like agree with them politically? Or even worse than that, like agree if their ban on TikTok was valid? What a real good system that I That sure was two years ago. I love the idea that cops actually like normally prevent speeding and burglary. It's also really enlightening because this cop is like, you know, there's an old lady outside, better go get her. Meaning that, you know, cops aren't trained to solve any problem other than with violence. Don't scroll, don't scroll. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I have one question. Will you be my friend? Ooh, 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 small bean, just little little cop wants to be a friend. He only kind of looks like the thumbs from the Spy Kids movie. I'm black, but colors don't matter in this world. Love and God. Damn, yeah, but I'm from the Philippines. His comments are so weird. <laughs> When I popped off, then you go gave me just a little bit of a chop, baby, so call Dude, cops are literally just children. Like, they're just kids with toys. Grow up, dude. Like, fucking stop making TikToks playing with your guns and do literally anything else with your time. You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? Am I wrong? <laughs> she wore a crown and she can't- 
I didn't mention drug dogs earlier when I was talking about canine units, but I figured I'd do it now. Drug dogs have a margin of error that is like unacceptable. Some dogs have even had up to 80% margin of error for how often they stop people. Drug dogs are used to stop cars when there isn't anything else to do probable cause and the cop wants to search the car anyway. There are some dogs that are trained to alert on command when they don't even smell anything. So that's cool. Cue the handler tells his canine to search on vehicles in order to perform a search comments. Okay, what's the what's the counter to that? <laughs> As a cop, I know what the canine is used for. They are rarely wrong. They alert to prior odors in the vehicle. Okay, that doesn't mean anything though. You also can't prove that. And that doesn't even account for the racial disparity between false drug dog alerts either. So something's up. <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't make videos like that. It's shocking to me the like lack of self-awareness someone like this can have. It might seem unrelated, but police sexual assault of detainees happens way more often than is talked about. In fact, until last month, it wasn't even illegal on the federal level, so that's very normal. And shit like this just strikes a weird chord with me, right? Like, oh, did somebody break your heart? Let me, let me be your shoulder to cry on. Cops never abuse women. You can tell he's a good cop. Check your privilege edition. Put a finger down if you have been called a racial slur. Called a racial slur. Called a racial slur. Oh my God. <laughs> he put that finger down. Fast. <laughs> I don't think I could come up with a funnier series of events than just this first two seconds of this TikTok. <laughs> Put a finger down if you've been followed in a store unnecessarily. Put a finger down if someone has crossed the street to avoid passing you. Put a finger down if you've had someone clinch their purse in an elevator with you. Put a finger down if you've ever had to teach your child how not to get killed by the police. Just because I'm a cop doesn't mean I'm privileged. Of course not. White supremacy does not care, even if you are an upholder of white supremacy. The police force in America is a bastion of white supremacy. That doesn't mean that racism isn't a problem. I don't know what you're trying to say with this. Are you trying to say that like racism happens? Yeah, it does. <laughs> you know who's pretty racist though? <laughs> Nine fingers down, and I'm white Spanish, lol. So much for racism. <laughs> racism isn't real, because I've experienced it. Well, I'll never second guess the men and women that we may lose, for I've walked for many years inside an officer's shoes. You stop a car at 2 a.m., it looks like they're making plans. The license tags are from out of state. You can't see all their hands. Your flashlight darts around the car. There's dryness in your mouth. You rest your hand upon your gun in case things start going south. Man, shut the fuck up. You wrote a poem about how you're a pussy and want to shoot people you're scared of. Like, why is it that cops just get to fucking finagle with their gun on their hip constantly and then it's not seen as a sign of aggression? They pull up to a traffic stop and they're literally ready to kill someone. Like that's the escalation. But no, it's okay because a cop does it because we're just taught that that's normal. You might relive that scene a dozen times in one week, but yet you know full well that a firearm is not your greatest threat. The traffic speeding down the road just inches from your spine is much more apt to get your name upon that highway. Yeah, that's actually true. Cops die way more in car accidents and collisions like that than they do from gunfire. So maybe like, you know, you don't need your hand on your gun. If all the Sorry, this guy's really short. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being short, but I think it's really funny when cops are really short. They're really like wide because they have so much shit on them. So they're just kind of like standing. <laughs> Nobody move. I am the law. This actually made me cry. I got your six. Thank you for protecting your community. You are amazing and stay safe. This made you cry? <laughs> if all of the kings have their queens on the throne. Dude, cops just love having fucking power over people, man. It's fucking gross. If you take him, will you be replacing him? Asking for a friend. 
monkey emoji. Cops sure are normal. One of the more interesting things I learned from this video is that the cop hashtags, some of the more generic ones like just the hashtag cop, are split pretty evenly between copaganda and police brutality footage. So it's really hard to look at a cop be like, ooh, ooh please be my friend when you're a couple of clicks away from a cop dragging a man out of his car in front of his children for no reason. Hard to sympathize. The policing system in the United States is fundamentally broken. It's a racist, misogynistic, homophobic, transphobic, and pretty much anything else phobic that you can think of that perpetuates violence and animal abuse, while the actual cops involved engage in brutality, spousal abuse, steroid abuse, fraud, and corruption. A lot of conservatives on the internet especially will say to leftists like me, oh, you hate the police, you ought to abolish the police, but you want people to be arrested for sexual assault and murder. It's like, yeah, I want laws to exist. I just think that the way we enforce them has to actually work. <laughs> but anyway, that's gonna do it for today. If I wasn't able to radicalize you, I don't know, maybe he was. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a like if you had a good time or subscribe for more videos like this every week. Tune in next week when I live like a YouTuber for a week and I make a video. Bye. Thank you so much to my incredible supporters over on Patreon. Your support means the world to me. If you want to join the Patreon, it's only $5 a month. You get video thumbnails a day early and you also get your name at the end of videos just like this.